Hey guys, welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today we're going to be doing my August book haul. So I'm filming this a little bit in advance because I didn't do a July book haul. I'm not even sure if I did a June book haul. So this is going to be an accumulation of several weeks. I have over 10 books to share with you, so it's actually quite a small book haul for me, which is actually a good thing because I got shelves filled and they look very nice. So Without further ado, we're going to get started. I don't know a lot of descriptions about a lot of these books because I kind of like to go in blind and off recommendations, but I'm excited about a bunch of them. The so first up we have Starsight by Brandon Sanderson. This is the sequel to Skyward. I have not read yet, but I've heard amazing things and I love a good sci-fi read. This is basically about a girl that goes to flight training for space and I think her dad was like a space pilot, but he had some controversial things happen and so she gets to kind of deal with some controversy there and I know the first book isn't set heavily in space but I think this one has more space sci-fi aspects. Very excited to read it. I believe it is young adult and it's just high up on my priority. Then we have Rule of Mirrors. This is again the second in a series or in a duology. So the first one is The Vault of Dreamers. It's a sci-fi dystopian psychological thriller. I am going to read you the description of this series because it sounds amazing. So there is this exclusive Chimera Center where people go with like coma patients and sick people to look for miracles. And when Althea Flores wakes up, she has no memory of her past life after a six month coma, but she has the memories of Rosie Sinclair who is the star of like a t famous TV show at the time and she also wakes up pregnant. And then Rosie's body is somewhere else and I don't know if she wakes up with her memories or what's happening, but I just thought that sounded really interesting. So excited to try this out. Let me know if you guys have heard of this one. Then we have The Valkyrie, The Runaway. I think I have the first one of this one. I don't know a lot about it, but it just looks really good. This is by Kate O'Hearn. It has something to do with like gods and goddesses and angels and fantasy and it just, I got it because it was pretty. Next we have Tarnished by Kat Jarvik Birch. This is the second book in a trilogy, sci-fi dystopian, I believe. The first one's called Perfected and I believe it's where like teenage girls are kept kind of like pets and you can kind of buy <laughs> teenage girls and treat them as like pets or dolls and dress them up and things like that. It just sounds like a really fun dystopian read. Then we have The Turncoat's Gambit by Andrea Kramer. Again, this is the second book in a series, the first one being The Inventor's Secret, but it has like piratey steampunk vibes. And that's really all I needed to know. I haven't read a lot of steampunk books before, so let me know how you guys feel about them and if you've read this one. Then we have Strange Days by Constantine Singer. So this one is an alien sci-fi book. So Alex, our lane character, comes home and finds that his parents have been murdered by aliens. So he's forced to confront the fact that his parents are dead and then also aliens are real and he goes on the run and winds up going to like this tech hub. That's kind of all I know about it so far, but it sounds cool and the cover looks neat. Philippa Fisher and the Dream Maker's Daughter. This is part of the Philippa Fisher series. So this is by Liz Kessler who wrote the Emily Winsnap series, which is one of my favorite mermaid middle grade series. And this is her fairy series. It's for middle grade as well. So I'm excited to check it out. I'm not sure which number in the series this is, but I have a bunch of them. Then we have See All the Stars by Kit Frick. I have a lot of sci-fi books because we did galaxy a earlier this year, which was a space and sci-fi themed readathon that I will be doing next year. So stay tuned for that. But this one is a standalone. So all I know is that it's got some kind of sci-fi spacey aspect to it. At least that's what I think. I could be totally wrong. Sometimes they put stuff like that on the cover and then it's not actually that, but I think I did my research on this one. So I actually found this one at Dollar Tree and I'm excited to check it out. Then lastly, I have Defy the Worlds by Claudia Gray, another sci-fi read. This is the second in a trilogy. I'm actually reading this one right now. So this one is a sci-fi trilogy. It's got kind of a star-crossed lovers vibe to it, but there is a advanced android boy and a rebellious girl and there's war between like planets and different sections and there's a lot of cool things with technology in here and it's set very heavily in the future. It's very sci-fi, very space-esque, but I absolutely loved the first book. I gave it four stars and I'm enjoying this one right now as well. So that is all for my little TBR for August. I don't even think that was 10 books. Let me know if you guys have read any of these down below in the comments. I would love to hear your opinions on them and let me know if you've hauled anything good recently. Don't forget to check out my Instagram at the bright side girl as well for more book updates and other fun things. And I will see you guys next time on the bright side. Mm -hmm.